let's uh, look at what's actually going on. Remember in the DVDs I said you, you are a soul, so let's say I'm drawing a ma ma male soul here. You have a spirit body and you have a material body, right? A physical body. So you are actually this being here and these bodies are just appendages of you. They are what you are currently using to get things up, if you like. Now, in the spirit world, there are literally billions and billions of spirits who have their soul and their spirit body. They no longer have their material body. So you have male and female people all through the spirit world. And each single one of you have one person permanently connect to you, connected to you in this regard. And that person is called your guardian. You've heard of that term? So this is different to soulmate, though. No, this is totally different to soulmate. Not the same discussion. This is these are spirits that are assigned to help you throughout your life. Right. right? There's two types of spirits that are assigned to help you throughout your life. One type is called a guardian. The guardian's role is to actually protect you physically. You follow me? So they try within, in, within the laws of God to protect you as best as they can, given your free will. So you might have your free will to drive recklessly along the road, and they'll try to protect you in that process, as long as they're not breaking the laws of God doing it. And the times when they don't protect you and you finish up passing or you have an accident are when you broke the laws of God so much, and you weren't listening to them, and they couldn't do anything else but watch the event occur. But the, the role of the guardian is actually to protect you physically from danger. Right. Then you have another type of spirit which is assigned, assigned to you, assigned to you, called your guide. Now they're only assigned to you when you decide that you want to progress spiritually. So let's say you made a decision, you were going along in your life merrily, and you know usually by the time we get to our teens or twenties, we're starting to wonder about the secrets of the of the universe, aren't we? We're normally starting by why am I here, where am I going, those kind of things. And so let's say I decided at that point that I would actually, oh, what I'll do is I'll, I've tried, lots of people talking about the Buddhist path now, so, and I like how it uh, you know, appeals to the, the peacefulness, appeals to me, and uh, the meditation techniques appeal to me and so forth. So what I want to do is just investigate that path for a while in my life. Now, as soon as you make that choice, that, that feeling inside of you, as soon as you make that choice, what happens is you attract a guy who is a spirit who is still on the Buddhist path in the spirit world. And they come and assist you and help you through the process of learning all about Buddhism as they conceive it to be in the spirit world. Because they believe in it fully themselves? They believe in it still fully themselves in the spirit world. Mm -hmm. yep. still, still believe in the same sort of things that they believed on earth with some modifications of the new things that they've learnt in their progression because many of them have been living thousands of years so obviously they've learnt a lot of things. And what they, they are assigned to you, by God actually, are assigned to you to help you work through different emotions that they also had and it's a, it's a, it's a, it finishes up being a joint effort, if you like, of growth. And so the guide's role is your spiritual development. You know? And it's your longing or your desire in your soul, in your heart, in your emotions, that causes the attraction of that particular spirit to you. Now, so far we've said there's two spirits. So that if we just number these down, there's one spirit, there's the second spirit. These two spirits are with you almost constantly. The first one with you constantly, every waking moment. The second one is with you, dependent upon your desire. Uh -huh. Now there's another group of spirits that are with you. That is, every type of person that, uh, that you have, you know, like here at the moment, many of you have some similar personality traits. And so you attract others here who are similar to yourself and you've got some rapport, right? And you start talking about all sorts of similar things. Some of you are interested in sort of natural things, some of you are interested in spiritual things of a certain type, and what happens is you gather together because of that common interest, right? So there is a whole group of spirits which you would say, you could say have sympathetic, 
who have sympathy with you. So they are sympathetic spirits with you. In other words, they feel attracted to you. They like your personality. They like the kind of guy or girl you are. And they enjoy interrelating with you. Even though they're still spirit, they enjoy that process of interrelating with you. So there's those group of spirits who are with you on a relatively constant basis. Then there's another group of spirits with you. Right? This other group of spirits is historically your family tree usually takes a lot of interest in you. So you might have a grandmother who died, who passed, and she's checking out all of her grandchildren, right? And she will connect with a grandchild or a few of the grandchildren that she feels a rapport with or a, co or a connection with. And so you could say there's another group of spirits who are family spirits or spirits that have been connected to you from your family in the past. Now, can you see already... You have a group of spirits around you every single moment of your life. Right? Just like you have groups of people around you for most of your life. Every one of these spirits wants to talk to you. They want to influence you in some way. They want to give you thoughts. They want to let you know they're around you and surrounding you. They want to actually help you. This, this person here in particular wants to help you develop spiritually to the point where you can actually communicate with all of these other ones. Right? And they're constantly trying to lead you down this road, which we <coughs> often resist, by the way, but they're constantly trying to lead us down the road where we're drawn into receiving new information that will help us connect to them. 